Nautilus launches new pop music energy drink. Nautilus Mineral Waters of America Inc. announced today the launch of pop music energy drink, which is putting a new spin on energy drinks. The Philharmonic beverage is manufactured in Denmark by Hagensoft, the man behind the highly successful cult energy activator. Pop music energy drink comes packed in a special 250 milliliters ball corporation trim can designed to receive FM radio broadcasts. Nautilus hopes to tune in and turn on FM station managers and radio advertisers with this new technology that receives only one pre-tuned radio station emitting from the aluminum can. The pop music radio digital circuitry is actually printed on a clear label that is wrapped around the can. The aluminum can act as the FM antenna. It is being touted by the press as a crystal set on steroids. This novel canned radio receiver is sparking a high note among some audiophiles. The one station label radio uses a standard earbud connection like you would use on your mobile phone jack, that you simply plug in to listen to a pre programmed FM radio station, says Wolfram Juritsk, a television actor and self described easy listening and pop music lover. The FM radio stations are ecstatic because the pop music energy drink can boost the station's number of listeners, while advertisers are buying into it because it locks consumers into a fixed FM radio station airing their ad spots. Each pop music energy drink FM radio features a display area for the station's call letters or the advertiser's corporate logo, said Juritsk. The 250 milliliters can has enjoyed significant success as the can of choice for energy drinks, said Bob Tetero, Ball Corporation's manager, marketing for packaging. Its unique size communicates energy to consumers and provides new market entrants with immediate credibility. Consumers are saying that the pop music energy drink radio is so simple, yet so revolutionary, perhaps the next Sony Walkman registered. Forget Sirius, XM Satellite Radio, for about three bucks, a sponsor or station manager can give away or sell pop music energy drinks to increase their demographic, says Richard H. Davis, president of Beverage Marketing USA Inc., the firm that invented the super-thin printed radio label. Davis estimates that the radio's battery life to be about a year with moderate use, there is no volume control, off or on button. Plugging in your earbud makes it work, when it gives out. You simply toss it, says Davis. Davis Firm also produces pre-printed vinyl sleeves that fit over 8.3 ounces Red Bull registered energy drink style cans and bong water registered soft drink bottles, this allows the patent pending pop music beverage container to play music on any old style Edison registered phonograph machine that was designed to play standard 1888 wax cylinder records without having to undergo an expensive retrofit. The pop music vinyl soft drink cylinder records have 420 grooves per inch and are similar to the Edison records made in 1902. Edison Gold Molded Records, cylinder records of improved hard black wax, capable of being played hundreds of times before wearing out. These retro records were under the working title of Edison High Speed Extra Loud Molded Records, running at the speed of 160 rpm. The company plans to roll out a low-cost pop music record player as more artist and beverage brands like Willie Nelson and Jazz Cola sign on to this retro music container.